Once upon a time, on the east coast of an island at the northern edge of the Roman Empire, explorers discovered an area of great natural fertility and beauty. It's still there. Smooth, sandy beaches lead back from the North Sea to golden fields of grain. The same fields which fed the Roman legions still supply the bakeries of the island. The island is Britain, and beautiful rolling fields are the Lincolnshire Wolds, in an area still known by the old Saxon name for the kingdom, East Lindsay. East Lindsay grows vegetables too, cauliflowers, which Mark Twain called cabbages with a college education, but especially potatoes, a vegetable the old Romans never knew. Something else grows here too, a deep peace which comes from centuries of calm prosperity. When the harvest is in, and the horses and hounds set out to hunt the fox, you might think that this was a lovingly preserved corner of a forgotten England. Well, in some ways it is, but it's a lot more than that too. King Henry IV was born here at Bolingbroke Castle, but to many of its visitors, the castle is more than an ancient monument. Tattersall Castle is relatively modern, a mere 500 years old. But the original building was there two centuries before the present castle was built. The ancient town of Louth was already an important settlement when the Romans arrived. But, and this is the key to much of East Lindsay's fascination, it has never declined in its attractions to travellers and traders. To this day, Louth Market presents a lively, bustling scene, not without its own beauty. Local people come here to buy the necessities of life, as they've always done. Others come just to look. There's something for everyone here, even including historic objects for lovers of the past. Although Louth and towns like it are places to live and work, they're also places of relaxation for visitors. There's always something to watch, something to learn. More and more, the quiet country towns of East Lindsay are providing recreation for people from outside the area. Hubbard's Hills is a park like an inland seaside, a playground for the local people. Louth's name comes from the river Lud, as it was mispronounced by the Danes a thousand years ago. On a hot day, a thousand years later, it doesn't matter much how it was pronounced, so long as the river is still cool and wet. Lindsay people enjoy life, and they like having others to come to share their pleasures. Among these rolling fields, where men have worked so hard for so many centuries, there are innumerable little corners, just made for the welcome rest that comes after hard work.